At least I don't have to set up a campfire. There we go. Lie down. Sleep. For, uh, call it 15 hours. Sleep. Um, meditate, hibernate, whatever these vampires do. Awaken, feeling rested. Do I indeed? Right. Yeah, wakey wakey. Rise and shine. What an inappropriate turn of phrase. All things considered, um, right. Now, where's that dragon? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where we've been chased up a mountainside by a very annoying ancient dragon. Apparently my vampiric powers grow as I hunger. Vampire seduction added. Come again. Good thing he's, an, he's not a dragon that breathes fire, otherwise I'd be so fucked. So very many magnitudes of fucked. Um, vampire seduction. Creatures and people won't fight for 30 seconds. And it works once per target. Could be useful, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's right, I've got like, uh, you know. Night vision. What am I using this lantern for? A little force of habit, I suppose. There we go. All right, so we're at uh, we're it's it's the equivalent of it's the vampire's equivalent of the morning, I suppose. Um, we've just sort of hibernated throughout the day, and uh, we're going to go hunt down this ancient dragon who chased it up chased us up here in the first place. He was extremely annoying. This particular dragon, extremely annoying. Um. Dragon steel arrows. I think we should use those. Um. On account of the fact that he nearly killed me. And I don't have a lot of potions right now, actually, it has to be said. But I'm going to try and see if I can kill this cunt anyway. Because he has displeased me. He has displeased me. And I was weakened thoroughly during that fight because. Um, the sun was coming up, and therefore it was doing nasty things to my, uh, powers. As in my ability to regain fatigue and stuff. I... I don't know what I look like under this mask right now, but... Oh dear. It definitely looked like a corpse, that's for sure. Um... On the bright side, we can't actually freeze to death, because we're dead already. <laughs> it's just not, it doesn't work quite like that, but you get the idea. Um, so, yeah. We don't even need to eat. We do need to feed. How long before this, like, oh, oh she's not here. Okay. Great. An icy haze crawls in from the sea of ghosts. Uh, I was going to ask her how long till um, this whole, you know, being a vampire that hasn't fed in quite some time thing becomes essentially out of control. Um, because I, you know, I'm just wondering because. Um, 
I mean, is it going to reach a point where I can't even go out in public? That's what I'm saying. I bet he's buggered off. He's probably the other end of Skyrim by now, the bastard. Well, so, in order to discover the location of Oriel's bow, I need to acquire the Elder Scroll that foretells the interactions of the dragons with the history of Nern. In order to bring in my search, I've been told to ask at the College of Winterhold. Uh, Moth Priest Dexian indicated that two other Elder Scrolls would be required. The first scroll foretells the interaction of the dragons with the history of Nern. The second foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals. So we need to find the second Elder Scroll. Um, basically. Now, um, that's going to be interesting. For sure. Apparently we need to go to the College of Winterhold now. Where is it? There you are. Uh, we also heard a rumor about an adventurer in search of an ancient blade called the Ice Blade of the Monarch. But apparently he was arrested near the College of Winterhold. So that's a thing as well. Go to Winterhold's jail and search for the adventurer. Assuming he's still alive. Now I happen to know that uh, Winterhold's jail is actually like an icy prison out in the sort of archipelago of islands on the coast. It's not a traditional jail. So we'd have to actually go on a bit of a arctic expedition of sorts to get there. But it sounds like it could be a useful bit of kit, this ice blade of the monarch, so... And there's the Thalmor here. You know what? I flipping well do not like the Thalmor. And they do not like me very much, but they're not attacking me on sight. And I have no idea what problems it's going to cause poor old General Tellius if I wipe out an entire fort of Fal uh, Thalmor. Whatever it is they're up to. So... Oh, there you are. There you are. So I guess we'll leave him alone for now. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just out of this. You do appear to be dripping wet. Oh, what is it? Nothing. Alright, so, in the meantime, I guess, uh, what would be a good idea is to try and get back to solitude, and oh my god, what a walk out we, we've got ahead of us. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna go have to, we're gonna, we need to go right through Harfingar, basically, and to get back to solitude, and from there, I, I suppose we can get a, maybe a boat along to, to, um, to, to Winterhold, perhaps? Uh, although they don't really have a dock, do they, at Winterhold? Uh, I might just have to go get the cart instead. Because I'm not walking across country or down the coast either. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm good. By the time I actually get to Solitude, I will have had quite enough of walking around in the snow, so... I think that's what we'll do. <sighs> I wonder what the companions are up to. Rod Roderick Redbeard's up Actually, you know what, on the other hand, I don't, I, I, I don't want to know what Roderick Redbeard's up to, because it's probably something absolutely disgusting. Yes, hello, hawkers. We come in peace. Lower Steep Fall Burrow. Oh, wait a minute. Can we get up into the mountains from here? We might be able to. Because if we cut across that way, then that's a bit shorter. I think I remember this place. I think I remember this place. It's, it's called Steepfall Burrow for a good reason, if I recall. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Watch out! <laughs> Die! Thank you. Sorry, were you talking to me there? Crossbows. Good grief. I used to use crossbows and then I bent the laws of time and space in order to make it so that I use longbows instead. It's a long story, don't ask. Where are you? 
There you are. Keep up, dear. Come on. Right. Ordinarily, this would be a big deal going for an icy plunge, but I suppose not so much these days. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, the, um, this was a waste of time. I, I do apologise. <laughs> Although... This would have been a good place to stay the night, actually. What's the time? 10.59pm. We need to get our skates on. I'd like to get to solitude by... Before dawn, preferably. And if bastard dragon McArsehole wants to show his face again, then... Uh, I've got uh, a few presents waiting for him. I can hear something fighting, I'm just not sure where. None of my bloody concern anyway. Let's keep going. I miss the sun. I don't mind saying, I, I really miss the sun. I miss the bright, warm sun on my face. And I miss being somewhere there's not snow. That isn't the soul cairn. I have no idea what's going on down there, I'm not getting involved. I mean, figuratively speaking, I miss the sun. Well, you know, maybe not figuratively, but... I mean... Like, if I did miss the sun, that would mean I would miss getting my face burnt, because I certainly wasn't missing the sun... Done. ...yesterday. Y yesterday night. I, I don't even... ...a hag. Well done, hag. You accomplished very little there, didn't you? What is she doing out here in the middle of the night? I mean, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a vampire dragonborn on my way back from Castle Volga. I've got a reason to be out here. As mad as that reason is. I'll tell you what, I've got night vision right now. I can still barely fucking see anything. a road. I'm not even sure. I can't see anything. There's a blizzard and I'm not sure where I'm going. Okay, this is a road. That's for sure. Uh, this is east. Let's go east. Oh, Morrowind. What the? My vampiric powers grow as I hunger. Serana, I was... I was going to ask earlier, precisely how much of a problem is this going to be? Do I look even more corpse-like now? I'm not looking great, that's for sure. Where is, um... I'll just put that on for now. Uh... Yeah. You see, you see, you see, it's just... I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried that I'm going to walk into the gates of solitude and the entire town is going to point and yell at me, Oh, vampire, away! Um, because that, if that happens, then we've got real problems. Because I categorically refuse to feed on poor, helpless people. I'm not a parasite. Okay. I refuse to become the thing that vampires are always accused of. Although 
The longer I try and resist, the more flashing visions of blood and duh. The only thing I can relate this to is when you're so hungry that people sort of cartoonishly start to appear as chicken legs before your eyes. It sort of feels like that. But I won't give in. I need to find a way to fix this, don't I? I need to find a way to cure my vampirism. If it can even be done. Otherwise, um, I'm going to end up doing something there's no turning back from. And that makes me very, 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 very unhappy. Lovely night sky, though, I suppose. Well, I don't think I've ever been happier to see the solitude dogs in my life. Or indeed, in my unlife. Quiet, isn't it? I suppose it is the middle of the night. Oh. Uh. Well, let's get back to the house. I suppose. You know my horse was back there, right? I've just realized this. My horse was back there. And in the middle of the dragon fight, I completely it just didn't register and it's only just dawned on me. The penny finally dropped. We walked all the way back here on foot, and I could have summoned my horse this entire time. Never mind. Sorry, I'm still, I'm getting back into this. I've, everything that's happened lately has really done a number on my sanity, okay? I'm, I'm, it's going to be a while before I stop forgetting very basic things like that, okay? You're going to have to give me a break, all things considered. I'm quite surprised I'm still mostly in one piece, mentally speaking. Oh, home sweet home. I see it hasn't fallen into the sea yet. That's always good. Yes, I'm apparently still kind of tired. So, I think I might crawl into my big bed. Wait. Well, he hasn't attacked me on sight, so I suppose that's good. Yeah, I'm going to climb into my big bed, and I'm going to have a big long sleep, and we'll sleep all the way through until tomorrow night. Uh, whereupon we shall figure out what to do next, I suppose. You know, so I could really do with a chair in here. Anyway, it's uh, just gone quarter past nine, following night. Uh, we're in the study, where I am quickly beginning to realize that I have essentially become a kind of reclusive vampire count living in his manor, uh, outside of town. Uh, hopefully it's not, hopefully I'm not going to start, like, raising undead servants and, uh, performing horrible rituals under the moon. It's all a bit of an ex existential crisis for me, I'm afraid. But anyway, I am um, not looking so good. It has to be said. Definitely not looking so good. Um, and we've been think I've been thinking and, and, and weighing up options and things like that. Um, so our chief problem is we have only one of the two Elder Scrolls we require. Now, unfortunately... I think we need, yeah, we need a very specific second Elder Scroll. So this isn't a simply a case of we can just, you know, send a, a letter to the Moth Priests um, at White Gold Tower and, and basically just say, can we, like, loan out an Elder Scroll so we can, like, you know, save the world? Um, we need a very specific one, um, and considering we really can't either travel all the way to Cyrodiil to say the moth, moth priest and say uh, dudes, hello, uh, could you possibly point us in the direction of this Elder Scroll we're looking for? Can't even, probably can't even send him a letter to be honest with you. It'll take too long to get there and too long to get a reply. 
So our only option really is just to go see the College of Winterhold. Uh, and hope somebody there's got the answers we need. Honestly. Because if they don't have an answer, then I don't know who will. Maybe the Greybeards? I don't know why the Greybeards would know about a... Uh, about an Elder Scroll, but... Uh, who knows? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, looks like that's what we need to do. So... Don't let the light coming from the windows fool you. It's uh, <laughs> it's definitely the middle of the night. So we're gonna uh, get on our way. We're gonna uh, get out of here. As much as I'd like to sit around here all day and sleep, and I don't even want to look at that banquet table because it's making giving me horrible flashbacks of Harkon's banquet table. Whew. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. Oh man. Just reminded me of Apocrypha. That place sound just feels like cozy, cozy home Apocrypha now compared to what I'm having to deal with at the moment. I'd much rather be back in Apocrypha, trading insults with Hermaeus Mora, for sure. Oh well, um, maybe someday. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we, we kind of need to kind of need to get moving. I think, before the night is done. Uh, my mannequin's moving around at all. Mm, nope, they seem to be staying put for, for now. That's good. Um, yeah. I would honestly just like to go back to sleep and just forget about all of this, but uh, we can't do that. Although, I've discovered it's surprisingly easy to just sleep as a vampire, really. it's You can almost do it on demand, and you can stay asleep forever. You really can. It's incredible. I, I can I get I can finally understand why you were able to sort of just sit dormant in that coffin thing for thousands of years. It's it's not it's like not even a thing. You just you know, it takes very little effort. It's not like it's not like going to sleep normally when you're immortal, I guess. You just sort of you lay down, close your eyes and you just sort of drift off to another type place entirely. It's not really it doesn't really feel like sleeping in the traditional sense, although it's certainly Recharges one's batteries, so to speak. Um, difficult to explain. Anyway. You know, it's something like that, anyway. Not that I necessarily want to get stuck in a sarcophagus for a thousand years, but, uh, you know. I think I'm getting beginning to get an idea of how you managed it, that's all. Oh, boy. I'm really not looking my best, am I? So, anyway. Um, light vision, please. Thank you all. This poor bastard stuck outside his house because of the uh, door bug, isn't he? Hello. What do you want? Fight well. Yep. Can't do anything with it. Uh, tell you what, mate. Next time I come around, if I remember, I'll uh, turn on the um, the old uh, unblocking plug-in and fix your door for you. But right now, I need to go. <laughs> that was such an annoying thing. That must happen to like one in a thousand save games in Skyrim. The old uh, doors suddenly becoming unusable thing. But uh, it happened to my bloody save game. Thankfully, I mean this this let's play would have been. Just a step out of completely out of character for once here. Um, this let's play would have been toast if it weren't for for that. It really would have been like a thousand blessings on the the mad genius bastard who came up with that plugin, which unbreaks objects like that that have gotten stuck. Because we'd be so screwed otherwise. We would be so freaking screwed. Anyway, so here's the thing. We could take the carriage, but the problem is I can't guarantee we'll get there at night. Unfortunately. We could arrive in the middle of the day. And due to my, shall we say, advanced state of um, vampirism at this moment in time, I can't guarantee I won't disappear in a puff of smoke. 
and that'll be the end of me. So, unfortunately, I can't take the carriage. No fast travel for us. I've heard that sound before. That's not a wolf. That is very definitely something else entirely. I'll watch out, everybody, if I were you. There's a beast prowling about. And it's not me for once. So, what I need to do, I think, is I need to summon my horse. Somehow. Horse whistle? Will that do the trick? You must own a horse. What? Is my horse dead? Did that fucking dragon kill my horse? Wait a minute. Dragon killed my horse. <laughs> my hot that horse had all my had loads of stuff on it too. That's I've not just lost a horse, I've lost a lot of stuff. Boy, I'm gonna. Wow. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, gee, I guess one of these days I'm gonna have to go back up the coast there and. Oh, we'll be heading back to see Castle Volcahar one of these days, I'm sure, but. I'm gonna have to go back up the coast and, and look for what's left of my horse and hope that it hasn't been ransacked. You know how long I had that horse for? That makes me really sad, that does. It was never a friend. In fact, it was an awkward beast, and it kind of annoyed me a lot of the time, but... It was just... It was something familiar, you know? It had been around for a while. Damn it. Wait. Wait. Can I buy a horse around here somewhere? Oh, I suppose I could, but everyone's in bed sleeping because it's the middle of the night. Ugh. Oh. I guess we're going on foot. My god. Uh, right, so, College of Winterhold. Shortest way is to follow the coast all the way down here. And go that way. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So, it looks like we're going for a swim. First and foremost. They say if a vampire so much Unless... as you, you'll turn into one. Hang on a minute, there's a guy I down here. Yeah. I don't know, actually, mate. Don't know for certain. Not, not really. I mean, like you can, yeah. You got a potion to cure disease. You're fine. That's take more than a potion to cure a disease to sort me out, though, isn't it? Good? Oh god. Oh dear. Right. I, I think there's a guy down here somewhere who who has a boat. He might be able to take us up the shore. I, that, that, I mean, because if he can take us as far as Dawnstar before the night's out, that'll be fine. What's the time? It's 11.22 p.m. Yeah, this might be I'm a sort man cutting it bloody close, this, actually. But let's see if we can find... There you are. I'm surprised you're not in bed, to be honest, but uh, hello. Look, don't like those eyes you've got. There's a bad hunger to them. Yeah, don't, don't, don't pay any attention to that. It's just a... It's just a... Where are you headed? It's just a dragonborn thing. Um, take me to Dawnstar. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Yeah, and please take me very quickly. Yeah. 
You gotta get into the boat, Serrano. Gargoyles are magical creatures that can form a stony skin when stationary, making it easy to mistake them for a statue. Their claws are able to absorb health from their victims. Do you think they'll still go for me? Now I'm a vampire. Yeah, of course they will. They attack you all the time, don't they? So, All right, we're here. And it's 3.28 AF. Fantastic. All right, awesome. Uh, we Yeah, okay. Right, we don't have long till the sun comes up, but... Uh, what the devil? Whatever. Um, just a minute. Oh, do you remember rains? Oh, rains. Uh, I don't know I'm going to return now, Alvax Skull, am I? Maybe if I go back there to find Jib's pages. Sorry, Jib's pages. First word of the Soltech. Oh, yeah. We still need to make a decision about Dernivir, don't we? Maybe. I have a lot of miscellaneous crap in here, don't I? Bloody hell. Let's find the, the inn before the sun comes up and gives me something a lot worse than sunburn. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires brazenly attacking people on the street. It's the end of the world, I tell you. More than you know, mate. Beautiful sky, though. Look at that. Good grief. Whoops. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I thought I still had, you know, my vision equipped. Don't mind the flaming horse, everybody. It's fine. I can't move. There we go. Could you get off the horse, please? Sorry. Thank you. There we go. Good. Look, he was looking the way the, in the other way the entire time. I think we got away with it. Uh, right. There we go. That's the White Hall. That is not where I wanted to go. I'm a Thane of Dawnstar, aren't I? This is where Greg's from. Not where we want to be right now, though. I thought this was the tavern. Oh, my God. I mistook the Jarl's um, palace for the tavern you know doesn't matter how long I spend in Skyrim sometimes even I can tell I'm a total foreigner I'm just one of the miners I don't want any trouble that's fine I wasn't going to give you any wind peak here and here we go <gasps> do you think Erin does here this one's a favourite of mine no nah, no a he's up at his uh... what are you doing in the corner I don't want to know. Um, oh, no, 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 no. The Wind Peak Inn features the finest bard in all of Dawnstar. Me. If ever there was someone worth feeding on, it would be sure. you. What can I do for you? You can be quiet. Sure. My voice could use a rest. You can be quiet so you don't tempt me any further. Thoring. I'm sorry. My mind was just somewhere else. Do you need a room? Drink? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Ooh. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Nope, that'll be quite enough. Thank you very much. Could just... just bite his neck right now. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do my resting, meditating, hibernating thing for a while. Right. 
good evening, I suppose. Hello. I'll Frost just be on my way. My husband years ago. He was a good man. What? Wait. Oof. I'm worn out. Good for you. Everyone keeps giving me funny looks and I don't like it. I'm no one special. Just a miner who swings a pickaxe for his drinking money. <sighs> right, okay, so here we are. There's no cart out of Dawnstar, so we can forget that. Just gotta head up the coast until we reach Winterhold. Basically. I'm just one of the mine. I don't want any trouble. Well, Dawnstar, it was lovely stopping by. Didn't really expect to ever be coming back here, to be honest with you, after that whole, you know, um, you know, civil war thing. <laughs> Those were the days. You know, I, it's a funny story, really, Sir. I, I had to impersonate a storm cloak, you see. Um, we needed to, basically, there was this, there was a storm cloak courier, and he was coming, uh, down towards Windhelm. And, well, I, was it up from Windhelm? I forget which. Uh, where, where have you gone? There you are. Um, and I, basically, I had to intercept him and then dress up as him and then deliver some false orders to the, to the guys here at Dawnstar. Um, you know, to the Stormcloak commander here. And somehow they bought it. I, I did my best Stormcloak accent and it worked. <laughs> uh, those were the days. Hello, Husky. I was a lot less world weary back then, you know. A lot less world weary. Skyrim was all still a bit new to me then, you see. Uh, a bit new and a bit frightening. Now it's all mostly just old and not so frightening anymore. Huh, there's the there's the Azura statue. I wonder what ever happened to that Khajiit monk who was hanging around up there. It's another fellow, I don't think you've met him. Khajiit monk. He didn't. He had. He followed a very strange sort of religion, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I think Isgrimor's tomb is around here as well. Oh, you know, I went to Isgrimor's tomb. Yeah, I went to Isgrimor's tomb. I uh, yeah. I went there with the other companions. We had to uh, free Codlac's soul from the clutches of his scene. Um, you know, the the, the Daedric Prince. And uh, yeah, we we um. We did it, we did it, we did it, we, um, sort of, we did it, and I managed to cure myself of being a werewolf. I did mention that briefly in passing, you know, yeah, I used to be a werewolf. Uh-huh, and that's how I got it cured. But, uh, if you can believe it, throw three witches' heads into a magic fire. Some weird shit, man. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Uh. That was just after I got back from Morrowind, you see. Um. I was actually in Mar. Well, I was in Solfheim, which I suppose counts as Morrowind, really. It does these days? It's covered in ash. Um, a very plucky-looking saber cat there. Um, you, say, well, you, might, you know, I say plucky, you say starving. <laughs> oh, he got his dinner. Well done. Oh, okay. He's not satisfied with just one hawker. Apparently, he's got to have both. You're a fat bastard, you are. You greedy saber cat. Um. Is that a very fast-moving bear? Looks like it. I think he's fighting a frost wraith or something. Um, Jesus, look at that. Just, would you look at that? That right there. That view with the water and everything. That is fucking beautiful. Skyrim's a lovely place, you know. A bit cold, a bit miserable a lot of the time, but you won't see that anywhere else in the world. Nope. You won't. I'm a bit wet now, but... Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I went to Morrowinds. There was this... So, it's complicated, really. It's, I was looking for a cure for lycanthropy, you see. And there was... There's this place in Saltheim called the Altar of Thrond. And, 
And there used to be a coven of, uh, were they Glen Moral Witches? I think they might have been. Um, a coven of witches that used to live at the altar of Thrond, and they used to cure people of lycanthropy, apparently, you know, according to some old books I found. But um, I got there, and it turned out they were all a bunch of hag ravens that tried to kill me, so uh, it didn't really go quite as planned in the end. But that's why I went there in the first place. That and the fact that I got attacked by a bunch of random cultists. Um, so, of course, I got there, and then... I discovered that the the town of uh, what was what, it called Raven yeah Raven Rock. I have a house there, you know. And a very good fucking <laughs> wolves. I had a very, a very good friend there called Wilson. Maybe you'll meet him someday. I wonder what Wilson's up to. Anyway, um, yeah, and the, 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 the townspeople there were being mind controlled and being forced to excavate strange uh, stones from under the ground, magic ones, you know. As, of course they're magic, like, why would they be... I mean, you, yeah. Why would they be excavating just random stones? No, no, they're magic stones, obviously. But they're excavating magic stones, and basically, to cut a long story short, there was this gentleman called Mirak, who was the first dragonborn, at least he claimed to be, anyway. Um, oh, hello. Speaking of dragonborn, there's a Talos statue. Um, so anyway, he claimed to be the first dragonborn, blah, 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 trying to come back into the real world because he'd been stuck in Apocrypha for a very long time, much like your mother is stuck in the Soul Cane, actually. Sorry to bring that up, but it was an apt comparison. Um, and he was trying to get back, but Amiris Mora kind of had his clutches in him, and just around about the time that Nirak had managed to tempt me into a duel with him, Amiris Mora just stuck a great big tentacle through his heart and killed him. It was not a particularly dignified way to die, it has to be said. And my relationship with Hermes Mora still remains a little bit unclear as a result, frankly. It's, um, a bit of a strange issue, honestly. If I never speak to the chap again, it will be too soon. Ugh. This guy's looking a bit weird now. Uh... We're nearly there, though. That's the place. What is it with Skyrim and towns that are hanging off of cliff edges all, the, all over the place? I don't know. Uh, right. I keep avoiding the water out of instinct, and I realise that I don't have to. It's simply not an issue anymore. If I ever get cured of vampirism, I'm going to have an awfully terrible time trying to adjust again. Oh, do keep up, Serana, honestly. For heaven's sake. Bit of a slow coach, aren't you? I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Oh, speak for yourself. Mrs. Magical Mystical Special Snowflake Cold Harbor Daughter Vampire thing that can apparently stay out in the sun all the time without being so much as, you know, just a little bit irritated. Me, at this point, I'm genuinely concerned I might go up in a puff of smoke! <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Bears! You all talk. The only thing I hate more than wolves. And your father right now. Goodness me. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so anyway, Mirak got a tentacle thrust through his heart, and yeah, some sort of laws of time and space were, were broken here and there, and that sort of stuff happened, and a very good friend of mine, she's now shaman of the, uh, of the Skarl, these lovely people who live in the, in the north of the island of Solstheim. Bit primitive, bit rustic, they hold some strange beliefs. But uh, nice people on the whole. Very nice people. Um, and I stopped them all being, you know, horribly killed by Hermes Mora's minions and stuff. Although her father was horribly killed by one of Hermes Mora's, um, you know, tentacle trap things. Big on the tentacles is our Hermes Mora. Very big on the tentacles. Loves them to death, in fact. Really does. Um, how the hell do we get up here? I think we have to go around this way somewhere, don't we? I'm going the wrong way. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I, I like Solstheim, though. I have fond memories of the place overall. I mean, the whole business with a... You know... With with Nirak and everything was a little bit unpleasant. But on the whole, it was a very nice place. I enjoyed it. 
There was a gentleman called Naloth there. You know, he's uh, probably almost as old as you are, frankly, but... Slightly mad. Done my... What do? Where have you gone? Honestly. You got rocks in your shoes or something, like... Anyway, he's a bit of a mad bastard. He's actually... <laughs> he's actually cast a spell on me, and he's he's basically... Logging everything that I'm seeing, if you if you see what I mean. It's, um... And, and I believe he will be for the next uh, 992 days. Yes, he's recording memories of my experiences. He wanted me to go find a briar heart, but... I don't put it past him to use all of this experience for other nefarious purposes as well. Anyway, though, he's a bit of a strained individual, but an amusing one, nevertheless. And I kind of miss him. I do. I kind of miss him. And his big, crazy mushroom tower. Um, I wonder what he would have made of the soul cairn. Well, he'll find out one way or the other when he reads back all his memories, I suppose. Probably doesn't care, does he? He's wonderfully indifferent to things. Hello, Mr. Husky. Um, wonderfully indifferent to things. Just does not even give a toss. He'd look at all this we're doing right now. And if you think I look at this as a bit of a quaint sideshow, wouldn't even register for him. He'd keep forgetting what it is we were supposed to be doing. And he's probably wondering right now, even though he knows full know exactly what I'm up to, saving the world and all that, he's probably still very annoyed that I haven't gotten back to him sooner. Well, you know, if anything, on the bright side, maybe my time with Neloth has prepared me for this lot. The College of Winterhold. Hello, Traveller. Die. When will you fool? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Asshole. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. <laughs> always the weather with you, isn't it? Always the weather. Yeah, sorry, officers. He just came at me. I don't know what happened. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Yes. I'm int intimately familiar with the... With, with those warriors from Hammerfell. That's another story. Did I ever tell you about the time I met some Alakir from Hammerfell? It was... Oh, I could tell you're not interested. Fine, fine. I'll get on with the task at hand. Kids these days. 